Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given cubic equation and at the end we are going to check our answer as well. To make things simple, I want to make sure that you keep in your mind that our this original equation should look like this standard form like this form over here you can compare it so that means your a is going to be 2 b is 1 c is negative 13 and d is positive 6. so the very first step what we want to do is we want to check to see if x equals to 1 and x equal to negative 1 are the solution to this equation because those are easy to find Therefore, in the very first step, we're going to be checking whether x equal to 1 is our solution. And here is the rule. It states that if you add a plus b plus c plus d, and that turns out to be 0, then 1 of our, our solution is going to be x equal to 1. In our case, a equals to 2, b equals to 1, c equals to negative 13, and d equal to 6. And if you add them up, this adds up to negative 4. If you do that one, which is not 0, so that means x equals to 1 is not a solution. And now in step 2, we also want to check whether x equal to negative 1 is a solution. And there is a rule over here that states that if you add the alternate coefficients, the terms, the coefficients, and over here this one, if you add these coefficients 2 and this one is negative 13 the alternate terms coefficients so that's going to give you negative 11 isn't it and this has a coefficient 1 if you add this coefficient to 1 plus 6 becomes 7 are these numbers same they are not same if these two numbers are not same, that means this is not x equal to negative 1. This x equal to negative 1 is also always going to be the solution if these two numbers must be same. So we ruled out x equal to negative 1 as well. So we have found out that x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 are not our solutions. And in this step, now we're going to look for other possible solutions. Before we do that one, I want you to look at the leading coefficient. I want you to call this one q. And the on the other end, this number 6, I want you to call p. Let me ask you now, what is what are your divisors of p, which is 6? So the divisors of p are simply 6. Or what are the divisors of 6? Positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3, and positive or negative 6, isn't it? And now let's do the positive are uh, the the divisors of q which is 2 the divisors of 2 are going to be a positive or negative 1 and positive or negative 2 isn't it now what i want you to do is i want you to divide p over q this is equal to these numbers on the top like this one now what we're going to do is I want you to simply, now we have a P over Q over here. You see this thing? Now we're going to see what are the numbers that we're going to divide this into this one. So let's divide positive or negative 1 into all these numbers. When you divide by 1, so we're going to get simply positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. So far so good. Now I want you to divide these top numbers by 2. Now positive and negative 2. 
So 1 over 2, this become positive and negative 1 over 2. And then 2 over 2 is 1 already. We already have a 1. We don't need to. And then finally, it's going to be positive or negative 3 over 2. And then 2 divided by 6 is 3, which is already here. So we have these numbers. We're going to see if there's any solution among these ones. So the very first thing in the previous step, we already found out that x equals to 1 and x equal to negative 1 are not solution. We ruled them out. So now let's try x equals to 2. So now we're going to try x equal to c whether this is a solution to this our given cubic equation. For that one, we need to use the synthetic division. That's what we're going to do now. Now let's go ahead and start plugging in the numbers right now. What are the coefficients over here for this equation? 2 over there's no coefficient. It's going to be a 1. This is negative 13 and this 6. I want you to just write it down. 2, 1, negative 13, and 6. And the outside number is going to be this x equal to 2. And let's get started. I want you to bring down this uh, two right up here as it is. Now I want you to just simply diagonally multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. Add them up. 1 plus 4 is 5. Multiply this 2 times 5. That's going to give you 10. So if you add them, that's going to give you negative 3. Multiply this one out. So that is going to give you negative 6. 6 and negative 6, they add up to 0. And that is our remainder. And now since uh, remainder turns out to be equal to 0, now I want you to use this fact. If remainder is 0, then this given x equals to 2 is indeed our solution. So we figured out one of the solution, which is x equal to 2. Now our next step is I want you to look at these numbers that we got with synthetic division. I want you to put x squared for this one, x for this one, and, and this becomes a constant. So this could be written as 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation. You can see that one, and we can easily factor it out. So what are the possible factors? So the factor is going to be x plus 3, and the other one is going to be a 2x minus 1. So far so good. Now I want you to split them up. So x plus 3 equal to 0 and 2x minus 1 equal to 0. This is going to give you x equal to negative 3 as your one of the solution. And this, I want you to bring this negative 1 on the other side. So 2x become positive 1 divided by 2. So x turns out to be 1 over 2 as your another solution. Thus, the, our solution set turns out to be 2, the one we already got a 2 solution, and then the other ones are negative 3 and 1 over 2. Now, the, in this step, finally, we want to check our answer. So, as we figured out, our solution set was 2, negative 3, and 1 over 2. I want you to add all these solutions right up here. I want you to put down 2 plus negative 3 plus 1 over 2 on the left hand side and ask yourself is this equal to negative b over a now you might be wondering what is a and what is b in this original equation this is our a b is 1 c is negative 13 and d is 6. So minus b over a is simply equal to 
negative 1 over 2. So that means now if you add and subtract everything, you're going to see that we're going to have a negative 1 over 2 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, minus b over a turns out to be negative 1 over 2 as well, isn't it? Now ask yourself, is this statement true? Yes, this statement is true. So thus uh, x equal to 2, x equal to negative 3, and x equal to 1 are 1 over 2 are our solutions. And finally, here is the graph of our given cubic function. And you see there are three x intercepts. So these are, in other words, they are our solutions. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.